to another episode of the I'm Down TV's YouTube and podcast. Gang, I'm gang, your gang, host, gang, gang. George Gutty, with Christoph the Third. And today, we're actually going to redo, this is a redo video of what we just had previously recorded about like two weeks ago, right? And so we just came to edit now, and we just noticed that, I don't know, it's, it, it could be done a little bit better. So we kind of just want to go ahead and just make it as natural as possible. See, we're in the car today, so it's definitely like a random, another random kind of just like yo, let's make it, let's make it do what it do type of day. It nope. was, it was really like um, we were in the middle of recording. I mean, recording. We're editing, and we just we weren't feeling it. You know, he looked at me, I looked at him, and was like, nah. Yeah. So we left the coffee shop where we were at, and we got in the car, and we said we're just gonna bust it. Uh -huh. So this is basically a discussion, a rant, a snap. On the idea that graduation is all right yes exactly. so George give me your heart your passion your best what you got here so this is my my view right now on how this is gonna play out right and right now like I kind of want to start how I previously started how right now this is the biggest time for a lot of people's lives right now right now most of you guys just graduating in June so we have high schoolers middle schoolers elementary college right everybody is graduating right and I think that this is one of the hardest things that everybody has to go through because even though it seems like a happy day, like, you know, a lot of us, even though we studied that career and we went through, you know, the struggle of having to pay for school ourselves and having to go to class and study and, you know, just break yourself while you're working and everything, you probably still don't know what you want to do, right? And that's kind of what breaks, what breaks all of us in a way, you get me? Because it's like, damn, like, what did I just study so hard for? What did I just go in so much for? And that's what that that's kind of what I want to talk about today. You get me? About how it's not it's not the end of the world. It's not a must right now. It's not a my life is over or I'm a loser or I don't know what's going on. This is the time right now where you double down on your passions. You get me? This age that you're yeah, yeah. in right now is a time where you where you figure out what you're good at, what you want to do, and you go in. You know, you go in because. I think that we wait too long and we make up too much excuses, you get me, before we ever start to do what we really want to do, you know, we love to give, you know, I don't have this ready, I don't have that ready, this person's on this, that person's on that, and we're not focusing on what really matters, you get me, we're too focused on trying to get the fat whip, right, or trying to get the nice watch, or trying to get the money, what's going to impress our friends, we're too busy on, on things that don't really matter for the long term You know what I mean And I think it's scary Because a lot of people right now That are 22, 23, graduating college Feel like they're stuck already You get me? Like, they're, like they don't know what to do And that scares me because you don't realize how young you are You get me? Because you're in the moment And you need to try to you know live in the moment But at the same time Take your mind to the next level you know, be able to see past right now. Be able to see what you can do right now is gonna benefit you later. You know what I mean? So, it, it's scaring me, honestly. But it's scaring me. You know, that's tough because I think we've heard it before. The whole, you know, don't live for the moment. Live in the moment, but live for the future, right? Yeah. But now let me ask you, as, as a young person living that, because I graduated, I went through that. I went through, you know, that exciting day where you see your parents proud of you and you have the cap and gown. And it just becomes surreal because it's something that of an achievement. And, and we're not diminishing your achievement, you know, because respect to you graduating high school, college, middle school, whatever, you did it. Respect to you. But let me ask you, practical, how do I do I face that fear and do something? Right. So, you know, and I, I love that you asked that because at the end of the day, that's that's always what we want to incorporate, right? Practicality. And you know, I um, if you've been watching now for some time and you've been listening and you've been, you know, in our Instagram and whatnot, you'll see that. You know, we say, oh, grab a grab a laptop and start recording. Grab your phone and start recording. Grab your phone and start posting, right? We talk a lot about the internet and, you know, social media stuff. And that's because that's kind of the world that we're living in currently. Mm -hmm. And I mean, and by world, I mean us, what we're doing, right? Yeah. right? That's what we're diving in. This is what we can offer you, right? The value that we can offer you, right? Because we're just two regular people. We're not famous. We're not rich. None mm -hmm. of that, right? Two regular people just decided, look, let's start something. You get me? Let's just start something and let's, let's keep grinding at it, right? So, for me, I'm, the reason why I'm always going to give you that advice, that practical advice of what you can do, right, as far as mm -hmm. internet is because it's the easiest thing to do. You get me? Like, so this is what I want to tell you right now. If you're good at, at Star Wars, you know everything there is to know about Star Wars, right? 
You can easily make a podcast right now about your love for Star Wars, the information you have on Star Wars. Give the new school of kids that are into Star Wars now, right, some value, some insight, you know, on what you went through and what you saw way back in the day, you get me? And also give value and entertainment to the old school people, you know what I mean? So do the vice versa. Right. So and talk about the new Star Wars mode and the new movies right. and the new vibes. Exactly. Right. Okay, you know, cool. you, you can do that and start your own podcast and start your own blog and start your own Instagram page and get paid for it. Make a living because, you know, I, I want to emphasize that, you know, you don't, you should not be selling anything. Period, right? Everything is sales. Yes, you know, you we sell our sales every day, whatever. You know, the politics of that. I'm not take the politics away for a minute. You get me? And I'm saying, don't sell nothing. Don't everybody's so busy trying to make a quick buck out of everything. Mm-hmm. You get me? Out of everything. Everything that we do has to have money. If it doesn't have money coming in, we don't want to do it. Pretty much. That's a problem. Seize your opportunity. You know, all, all we're saying with this is that you can easily start a podcast today, right? And 10 years from now, sponsorships are paying you money and you're making $60,000 a year talking about what you love. You know what I mean? Talking about your passions and expressing yourself and having thousands and millions of people listen to you and be inspired by you and do something because of you because you decided to follow something and pursue something. You know what I mean? That, 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 that's, that's something that's so easy to start today. You know what I mean? And I think, uh, not to miss the point, uh, when George is talking about podcast, is an example, yeah. right? To us, the reason this is so such a passionate thing is because we're excited about encouraging people to follow their dreams. So if your dream is something that has to do with school and being a doctor, being a lawyer, being, man, follow that. What we're saying is basically mm-hmm. is don't wait for a validation of a title. Don't wait for the validation of an, of an academic achievement to follow what you believe in, what you're passionate about. Because you're going to live in regret because you missed out because you waited for it. You know, and don't ever think that a degree will make you more or make you less, right? It might, in some people's eyes, sadly, you are more or you're less for what you have accomplished in Mm -hmm. degrees-wise, but in your passions and your desires and who you are, those things that drive you, they're more valuable than any degree because those things are the things that are going to move you to do something big that nobody else would have done, you know? So make sure that, that school is important and school is great, but it's not the only way to do things, you know? Follow what you believe in. Follow what you're passionate about. You know, you don't have necessarily have to start a um, podcast, a YouTube channel, because we do know people we look up to that went to school. You know, Virgil Ab- Abloh, yeah. right? Abloh, 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 Abloh Virgil yeah. Abloh, right? This dude went to school. He went internships. He did the whole, you know, corporate stuff, and now he's one of the biggest creatives in the world. Yes, right? Kanye, same culture. way. Right, mm-hmm. big creators in our, in our culture. You know, shout out to Drake, right? Because we were recording this, so you guys. Don't think we missed on that. Murdered. Yes. Murdered. Murdered. But uh, back to the point, you know, a lot of people went to the school, did the thing, right? Got their degrees and then followed their dreams, which is not a bad thing. Your life, your steps, the way you do things is different than the way anybody else would do things. Mm-hmm. What we're encouraging you is to is sure. don't settle for whatever. Mm-hmm. Follow what you believe in. Mm-hmm. That's going to, and if you can make out of what, money out of what you believe in, you know, we always hear rappers and ballers and, and, and sport athletes always talk about, yo, I could have never imagined I could have made a living out of what I love. Yes. But what about you and I? Why do we have to settle for just making a living? Why can't we make a living out of what we love too? Mm-hmm. You know, follow that dream. I think that's what it is, right? Graduate from life. Not just graduate from my school. Mm-hmm. Exactly. That, that, and I love that you said that. Graduate from life. That, that's... That's, that, that's the long run. Life is the long run. It's not school. It's not the job you're in. That's, you understand, like, and, and people get lost in this work, 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 work that they don't realize, you know, 20 years later, they finally look up and they realize, wow, I've been working for someone for such a long time and I'm miserable. Mm-hmm. And, and on the contrary, there's people that I personally know that they're in their 30s right now. They're 32 and they're extremely happy with the, the, with the life that they're in. They're extremely happy making, you know, maybe $40,000 a year. And all they want to do is make sure that their kids advance and have more and better opportunities than them. And they're extremely happy, you know. And that's, that's the key. The key is happiness, you know. But the thing is that we sacrifice our happiness for other people, for other things, you know. Parents, parents right now, you know me, that are listening right now. And kids that are worried so much about making your parents proud. Parents. Your kids are not a direct reflection of you. Ooh, do I not. Felt that. I felt yes, that. that. Do not. Deep. Do not 
put what your dreams and aspirations are and pressure that on your kids. Don't do that. Oh, you know, God, you're that's, preaching, that's one of the biggest things, man, that I've seen that it's a fall. Like, the kids are so worried about, no, 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 my parents want me to do this and my parents want me to do that. No, man, you have to look out for you in the sense of your happiness because you can't give somebody 100% of you if you're not happy. You're not going to be able to give your parents the best son and daughter if you're not happy you know so don't look for validation in your parents it, find it out what you love the relationship too exactly because you know what this is going to happen you put that pressure on your kids at one point your kids are going to resent you you get me Snap. You, that relationship is going to go bad no matter what you get me look and most of us are also trying to run a rat race stop running a race this is not a race this is life this is a marathon don't try to oh because i didn't make it in three months i've been working so hard in three months i didn't make it Boo-hoo, stop crying. Keep working, you know, because, like, we want things so fast. You notice that? Like, we want things so, so fast. Man, it's, it's just, we got it's used crazy. to it. crazy. Yes. Think about it. Like, I was just talking to George right now because uh, my brother called me, and I answered it on my computer because I, I guess I'm, I'm close enough to the coffee shop that I yeah. can still pick up the, the Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi, right? But, you know, think about it. Those are the commodities that we get used to. Like, it becomes our like normal. Yeah. If, if I have no signal, I trip out. Yeah. If I have no whatever, I trip out. You know, and the reality of your passion is that if your passion is real, then you're willing to pay the price, mm-hmm. right? But if it's just a seasonal thing, then the moment the season doesn't give fruit, then you'll move on to something else, and that's cool too. Mm-hmm. But at least you try things. Try whatever, you know, taste. You know, you always tell me, taste, 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 taste right? Until you find that, that thing that drives you, the thing that makes you passionate. Mm-hmm. And I guarantee you, we all have things that make us passionate. Mm-hmm. And those things should drive you, you know, should drive you to be a better person, drive you to be a better example, a better leader, a better this, a better that, right? Because it's all about improvement. If you're not getting better, right, then that happiness you have at this moment is temporary and it's going to fade. But if you're continually improving, continually getting better, continually chasing, you know, those dreams and those visions and those aspirations that you have, then you're becoming the person you will look up to and the person other people can look up to. So you're being better for you, but you're being better for others. You know, and the same one thing that is true is that, you know, parents, kids, you know, our dynamics in relationships are really difficult to handle. So one of the most important things is be honest, man. You don't want something to tell your parents. Parents, you expect something the kids tell your kids. You know, but have the discussion where I, where you guys can meet at a point. Because, you know, I don't want to be my dad. I want to be someone my dad can be proud of. But at the same time, I want to be Chris. I don't want to be my dad. Mm-hmm. Right? And I think of blessed with you. You want to make your parents proud because you, you understand the sacrifice they put in, the work yeah. they put in. But you want to be you. Exactly. Right? And so graduate from this idea that you are no one else but you Mm -hmm. so the passions the desires the things that drive you they're individual to you Mm -hmm. and if you're willing to see yourself and understand that what you're doing is is going to add value to somebody else's life you know endure to the process fall in love with the process even if the first couple of months couple couple of years couple whatever there's no success you know if you're in a rat race it's the same way anyways Right? Because the first couple of months, you might not get the promotion. Mm-hmm. First couple of years, you might not be seen until, you know, eventually it's your turn to get promoted. Mm-hmm. It's the same concept. And if you're in a corporate or if you're in, in your own freelancing jobs, yeah. so why is it that when we're pursuing our own dreams, we quit faster than we're pursuing somebody else's missions? Yes. And, and you know, and, and that's the thing, like, also, like, I feel like we're putting too much pressure on ourselves with that mentality of, oh, I have to be here. You know, like, like you know, like we talked about before, like, look, Maybe you have a lot of friends right now around you that are all being successful, right? Right now, all your friends are out, you know, making these super high-paying jobs right now, right? They just graduated and they're getting like these, oh my God, lawyer jobs, whatever. You know, well, probably not lawyers if you just graduated, right? I'm guessing. <laughs> but, I mean, they're probably having like, I don't know, $80,000 yeah. job offers right now because they work for a bank or something, you know? And, you know, they're having BMWs and Mercedes-Benz and you're thinking, oh my God, I'm falling back, I'm falling back, you know? No, man. Yo, like, let me, let me explain something to you right now. Stop looking at material things to validate you. You know mm. what I mean? Let's stop doing that because, look, especially people right now in my city right now, right? Our city right now, Miami. I know this is extremely hard to fall into. You go out and all you see around you is these, you know, fancy cars and fancy things. And I understand that this illusion that, up. yeah, that, exactly, right? This, this illusion. <laughs> that, exactly, just like J. Cole. It's this illusion that we need this and this is what's going to make us happy. No, man. Don't fall for that. You need to take a step back and look at the life that you have right now, right? Not all of us started in the exact same way, right? Some of us are down here. Some of us started up here. Some of us started over here. Everybody starts at a different line in the race. You get me? Everybody. 
But mm -hmm. stop worrying about other people. Worry about you. You know, take a step back and thank God for what you have. You know, but really, most of the problems we have are what we were just talking about earlier first world problems. We have yeah. first world problems, you know. Sure. We're complaining of like, like you said, like you might complain that you don't have Wi-Fi in a coffee shop or something like that. First world problems, like you know, there's people out there right now dying, and there's people out there like fighting for their lives. You know what I'm saying? Like they're being oppressed for real. You know what I'm saying? Like really oppressed. You know, so we need to start to like take you know this charge of like of what real life is. You know, what is that you want out of life? What is that you want out of life? You know, not what your parents think that you want or I'm sorry, not what your what your parents might want for you. What is it that you want for you? Not what your friends want for you. What is it that you want for you? That's what you have to fight for. That's what you have to grind for. You know, don't look at other people and start trying to get what they get. No. Hey, can I make a parenthesis? Yeah. It's okay. I know this is gonna sound crazy, but it's okay to not know what you want. Sure. We are so, sure. I, I, you know, you were saying just comparing to what other people are doing, you know, we see, oh, that person always wanted to be a lawyer, so he's becoming a lawyer. That person wanted to be a doctor, that person wanted to be a blogger, that person wanted to be this. So then, when we don't know what we want to do, we feel like we're failing. Mm -hmm. It's okay. You don't fully know who you are. I guarantee you, even the oldest person living right now still doesn't fully know themselves. So doesn't fully know what they want. Mm -hmm. And that's normal. The beautiful thing about life is that life is a process of discovery constantly. You're constantly discovering things you're good at, things you love, things you hate, things you suck at, right? You're constantly discovering people, constantly discovering food, constantly discovering whatever. And that process of discovery leads you to becoming the person you wanna be. But constantly keep searching, keep working, keep fighting, you know, keep pursuing the goals, keep pursuing the dreams. And if you find out that, that wasn't the dream you wanted after all, that's okay. You know, you still have your whole life ahead of you. Put this in perspective. We think we're already in like, like a mid twenties, mid thirties or whatever, and you think that's it, my life is over. But it's not. You might have never you might have you might have not even got it to fifty percent of your life. So that's why are you gonna throw away your life because of one thing that didn't go the way you thought about it? Right? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's about just pursuing, true. man. Continue so going. True. You know, just like we understand that once you graduate from high school, college comes, that's the same way it should be with everything else. It's like, okay, this didn't pan out, then what's next? Or this did work out, then what's next? You know, even as brands, we see it in a commercial aspect, the brands are always trying to find what's next. Yeah. So they can be ahead of the wave, right? Yep. Why true. in life are we not wondering what's next for me? Why are we settling with the failure or settling with the success? No, what's next? If, it, if I'm at my highest, there's still something next. If I'm on my lowest, there's still something next. So continue with that idea that there's always something next for the better or for worse, but we find something next to that too. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And, you know, as, as we're talking here, I understand that, you know, so this is always going to be put out, right? And these platforms where this could be viewed the day that we put it, or it could be viewed years after mm -hmm. we put it, right? And this is something that I want to make extremely, extremely clear, you know? You might be saying right now, oh, well, why should I listen to you guys? You guys aren't successful. You guys aren't, you know, anywhere with this stuff right now. And understand, and I'll tell you what, don't listen to us, right? Listen, I'm sorry, don't listen to us, but look at what we're doing. I'd rather, I'd rather you do that. Look at what we're doing, you know what I mean? Because if we're not living up to what we're saying, then you shouldn't listen to us at all, right? That should go for everything. And I think that at this point, and this is not like nothing boastful, but... You know, this is a month that we're into this, right? So a month. A month that we're into this. We're trying to do two videos a week so far. If we can, we're going to try to increase that later on if, it, if it's possible. Mm -hmm. um, we still have videos that we have archived left to edit right now. That you guys like, haven't seen. Yes, that you guys haven't seen. We're busting out material. We're working on this. We're trying to figure this out. Just like you guys are trying to figure something out, you know? Um, and this is, you know, this is just so you can understand that. Right now is not the time that you should feel depressed, that you should feel bad. Like I said at the beginning, this is time to double down on what you like. Mm -hmm. This is the time to take the risks. This is the time to do those things because later on in life, if you want to get married, if you want to have kids, that risk that you can take diminishes a lot more. Mm -hmm. you get me? It goes down a lot more because you can't because now you have to make sacrifices for someone else. You get me? So this is all to say that. You know, we all have the same exact opportunities. We all have the exact same, or I don't, maybe I don't want to say opportunities, right? We all have different opportunities, but we all have the chance to make something big for ourselves. You get me? Something that's going to make us happy. The key word here is happy. Not how much money you're going to end up having. It's how happy you're going to be, you know? And, and when we mean happy, I, I think you would agree too. We don't mean that emotion that fades. Mm -hmm. We mean the idea of fulfillment. Yeah. 
finding the purpose, finding the meaning, finding the joy mm-hmm. in, in what you're doing and who you are. Because more importantly than what you do is who you are. Mm-hmm. Right? Because who you are will often be reflected in what you do. And so the reason we, we are you know so invested in this is not only because we want to encourage somebody else, it's because we would have wished somebody would have told us to us. Mm-hmm. Somebody would have taken the moment to say, you know what, it's okay if you're not doing what your parents want you to do. It's okay if you don't you know, pursue this. It's okay if you've pursued that and you didn't end up liking it. Mm-hmm. It's fine. It's perfectly normal. It's okay if you don't know what you're doing. It's okay if you don't want to get married yet. It's okay if you do want to get married yet. It's what everything, it's okay. You just discovering life and you're discovering who you are. You know, that's the idea. So we don't ever want to limit you guys because we don't want to limit ourselves either. Mm-hmm. So just continue graduating because life is not four years. Mm-hmm. Life is not one degree. <laughs> By the end of this life, you probably have like three million degrees. Greatest dad, greatest husband, yes. greatest friend, yep. greatest this. You have too many degrees to worry about that one you didn't get. Mm-hmm. So just live out your life, man. I think that's what it's all about, right? Yeah, for sure. Just, and you know, with, with with that, I I completely agree, man. It's just you have to take charge of your life. You know, only you're in charge of that. You know, so I think with that, I think um, we somewhat made our point, yeah. right? I think so. And uh, for you know, those of you that are listening that are brand new, you know, just today live your life. That's it. You know, today decide that I like this and I'm going to do this. You know, and pursue something. You know, pursue your passions and pursue what you love. If you love to talk, talk. If you love to draw, draw, you know? And yeah, man, with that being said, uh, I want to thank you guys for watching, for hearing us out. Uh, comment down below, like, subscribe, let us know what you think, give us some tips. I appreciate everyone who's uh, been DMing us, messaging us about you thank know, you guys. certain tips yeah. and stuff like that, that you know they think it will make the video better. Uh, we thank you guys, we appreciate you guys for just watching. I'm extremely glad that we can have like somebody that you know we don't even know view the video and you know get and some value. You, you know what's it. crazy is that yesterday I, I was I was eating with a couple of friends. And somebody even asked me, hey, I, I can't wait till the next video. What are you guys going to talk about next? Yeah. You know, that was so encouraging. You know, the fact yeah, that people like, are expecting, you know, to some of you guys, you might be, oh, it's not a big deal. But to us, it is. You know, you guys, uh, just the fact you take the moment to listen in, the yeah, fact yeah. you take the moment to come and back. Uh, we have a response video out to uh, Does Feminism Fit Me? Yeah. So go check that out as well. You know, it's, we want to answer back to you. Mm-hmm. And with that being said, George said, oh, you know, like, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. And just smash! That's a subscribe button. See ya guys. Peace.